Hello, I'm Nicholas from the Community of Resurrection at Merfield and we are beginning this series of talks about matters that I and other people are interested in. Today I want to talk to you about one of my great heroes, which is John Bradburn. John Bradburn was a martyr living in Rhodesia, Zimbabwe, 40 or 50 years ago. John Bradburn began life as a good Anglican. His father was a priest and he had a conventional upbringing. But in the Second World War, he was sent off to Burma in that very nasty bit of war there and actually was extremely brave and made a great impression as a soldier. But after the war, he became a Roman Catholic and found his way up to Rhodesia where he lived a very eccentric, somewhat Franciscan kind of life of great poverty, caring for other people. John said he had two great ambitions in life. One was to work with lepers and one was to die as a martyr. And he achieved both aims. He was sent to work with the lepers at Otemwa Leper Colony and there he lived for several years and then during the Bush War in 1979 he was taken out by guerrilla fighters and was shot and that's how he became a martyr. I met John just once back in 1975 when a friend of mine took, him, took me up there to see him at Matewa and we found him living in a small tin hut. It must have been hell, frankly, because it's a very hot area and so in summer it must have been absolutely boiling in that tin hut, but in winter at night it must, must have been absolutely freezing. But John lived there very happily. We had brought out a picnic for us, but he refused to eat anything, he just talked while we ate. Um, he, took, he was a very excitable person and he absolutely overflowed with joy. That's one of the things I most remember about him, the sense of life and the sense of joy, as he described the wonderful life he lived in this very remote area of the bush. But the thing that impressed me most was that when he took us around the leper colony and we actually met the lepers, now these were old lepers, they were sick, they were deformed, they were not very clean. But each one of them, John would take in his arms and hug them and look into their faces as if they were the most beautiful person he had ever seen in his life. That to me was love. So why was he killed? Um, we think maybe the guerrilla fighters just uh, couldn't bear to have somebody in that area who was more important than they were. We think maybe John annoyed them by not being at all frightened of them and probably tried to preach to them. Anyway, some young guerrilla fighters did kill him in 1979 and his body was found on the side of the road the next day. Since then, Thousands and thousands of people have gathered every year at his, uh, at the John Radburn Memorial at Potemwa to celebrate his life. And there is now a cause before the Roman Catholic Church making its way through the long process to declare John both as a saint, as a martyr. To me, he shows that absolute priority of Christ and he lived entirely and absolutely for the poor, sacrificing his life for them and so bringing, making people aware that it is the poor who really matter in the Christian life.